Data centers are powering digital transformation. As more devices are being connected to the internet, more content is being transmitted and eventually stored somewhere in a data center. Welcome to the Future Now Talks, Ahmed. What is driving this mandate on data centers in this digital transformation? I think it's government initiatives and enterprise maturity. Both organizations from its own domain want to reach to its end users. In the case of government, that will be the citizens, for example, and in case of enterprise, that will be their end customers. And they want to reach them and they want them to consume the services that they are offering um, at any time and from anywhere. And this requires agile IT. So this acceleration to the digital transformation is pushing both government as well as enterprises to move to the cloud. Now, I think the other driver would be is the, the readiness of the technology itself. So cloud adoption, for example, is changing and it is increasing as well. When cloud started, at the beginning, the focus was on delivering IT services in a cost-optimized fashion. For example, delivering IT resources on pay-per-use. So not every application was ready to be on cloud. Um, the, the, the core and the critical applications, the heavy ones, used to stay on the enterprise data center and used to stay uh, on the physical hardware. Now this is changing and this is changing very fast. So we can see now the critical applications are also becoming more cloud ready. So this puts more uh, need for data center. When you say cloud ready, what do you mean by this? Is this something as uh, a global phenomenon or is it just something here in the UAE? No, it is global. Uh, it varies from one region to another. I think the pace is different from also one country to another country. Um, the case in UAE is a little bit different because the government here is striving um, uh, to provide service excellency to the citizens and also they want to make UAE as a regional business hub. Now, um, this fast pace of digital transformation as well as the importance of data localization, the location of the data, um, have been seen by the, uh, the leading international cloud service providers. So they have seen this need, they have seen this demand, and they wanted to take this opportunity by coming to the region and starting their cloud nodes. We have seen this. So we have seen Microsoft in mid-2019, they announced their first regional cloud node here in, in the region, and it was in UAE. Um, within the same year, uh, we have seen Amazon also announce their cloud services in, in Bahrain. Um, Oracle as well, they announced the first generation of cloud, uh, I think it was within 2019. And there are other service providers as well. So there is SAP, there is uh, Huawei, and there is also Alibaba. The good thing is that we see them all eager to expand in order to meet the growing demand. Interesting. So what do you think of this change of those global players coming to the UAE? How is this impacting the data center industry? Oh, wow. It is, I think it is, it is impacting from two different angles. So one angle, I will look at it from the enterprise itself. So the enterprises are moving their workloads to the cloud. And in some cases, they are moving, if not on the cloud, at least closer to the cloud. So they want to be very close from the cloud node that the, the, the cloud service provider is putting. So this means that the enterprise data center will fade away over time. Uh, I have seen a research from Gartner. They're saying that around 80% of the enterprises will shut down their data center by 2025. I think the ratio was around 10% three years back. So this is one angle. From the other angle, because the enterprises are moving to the cloud, we see more and more requirements are driven by the cloud service providers. So the cloud service providers are now coming and they're asking for more data, data center services. So we see change in the, in the profile of the data center customers from the old retail customers to a wholesale customer. And the wholesale customer or these cloud service provider requirements are unique and different. So. Uh, they want to deploy fast services to the enterprises and, and speed is always very important to them. So the way they're seeking or they're asking for data center providers is to build data centers very fast. And this is something unique. Uh, at the same time, the scale they're talking about is very different. So if there is one thing that you would advise organizations when it comes to their future data center plan, what would it be? Oh, I was expecting this question. Uh, I think the mandate of today's CIO is uh, 
to deliver IT services that will help their organizations to reach their objectives and goals in a cost-efficient manner. Uh, at the same time, ensure that availability of the services and also ensure growth. We have seen some organizations that have invested into building data centers, but the, the change of the technology uh, happened is much faster than what they have anticipated. So they end up either having data centers that is very small and they cannot scale, so they cannot grow within these data centers, or in most of the cases, they have overbuilt data centers. So they have data centers that are sitting idle. All the capital investment that they have put in the mechanical and electrical components are, are wasted because the systems are idle. So if there is one piece of advice I would give is that stop investing in building data centers. I think look at your architecture, look at your application architecture, and the cloud is here and the cloud is evolving very fast. And it will not only help you deliver IT services in, 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 in um, lower cost, but it will also help you maximize the value of IT and maybe use the agility that cloud is giving you to achieve your business objectives. But Ahmed, tell me, not about data center. What's important to you? What's the one thing you want to keep? In, in general, I think technology made things easier, definitely, but made us a little bit away from, from people that we love. Yani in general, now, during the pandemic, personally, I'm talking about, about myself, during pandemic, I felt life was much better because we were not busy with shopping, we were not busy with going out, and for the first time since my marriage, I felt that I am sitting with my kids, and we enjoyed time together. We played, we used to play a family game every day. And this is something we were missing. Uh, so I think, yes, we need technology. Technology made our life easy, but, but it made us more busy. Although uh, preparing food has become easier. Uh, reaching somewhere has become easier. Delivery of things became easier. Um, getting the knowledge became easier, but we are more busier than before. So I think if there is one thing I would do is maybe sometimes pause from technology and try to rethink about our personal relationships with people that we love and how we can not compromise it by the technology itself. Maybe use technology to help us rather than use technology to put us away from each other. What is something that Ahmed Al Hamadi is expecting to happen in the future? We don't know what's gonna happen. Expecting, I don't expect, but what I want, I think I, yeah, no, I really want UAE to become an industrial country, a country that uh, produces things. I mean, um, a lot of the things that we consume today, um, especially the machinery things, so the technology, all are these imported from outside. So I would love to use either a device that is made in UAE, really made in UAE, an application that is made in UAE, um, a car that is made in UAE, uh, things that we consume on a daily basis, I want to see UAE is doing it. Thank you, Ahmed, for joining us on Future Now Talks. At Future Now, we bring the latest technologies by collaborating with startups, IoT developers, and clients. And that's what the Future Now Talks is all about. So stay tuned.